Hello there buddy, we just got Resto here and today I'm back with another Minecraft video. And today's video I'll be showing us how you guys can build yourself this super simple 1.18 compact iron farm. And yeah, this iron farm will produce all the iron you guys will need in your survival world and you guys can build this in no time at all. And guys, this farm works on the latest edition of Minecraft Bedrock which is 1.18 and this will work on all Minecraft Bedrock platforms including MCPE, PS4, Xbox, Nintendo Switch and Windows 10 editions. And this farm will also work if you guys are playing on iPhone, iPad, tablets or on mobile. And yeah, without wasting any more more time let's get straight into the video so guys the first thing that you guys are going to want to do is find the location where you guys want to build this farm and you're going to want to make sure that the farm is at least 150 blocks away in all directions from any villagers or villages as if not this farm will not work so once you guys have chosen the location you guys are going to want to dig out a 5 by 5 hole like so and then you guys are going to want to make it seven blocks deep in total and now that you guys have your hole that looks a little like this you guys are going to want to come down here to the bottom two blocks and then break them like this and go all the way around like so once you guys are done, you should end up with a 7 by 7 square in the bottom like this. Now you guys are going to want to grab your bed. You guys are going to want to skip this block right here and then place two like so. And then skip this block and then continue on like this. Once you guys are done placing your eight beds, you guys are going to want to place five like this. And then five more on the other side. And then you guys are going to want to place two more beds like this on either side. And now you guys are going to want to go ahead and then place a solid block right here and then one more up. And then you guys can go ahead and then make a floor all the way up here. And then once you guys are done, you guys are going to want to break these five blocks right here. And then this one more the center and on the other side you guys are going to want to break three like this and then one more on top and on the other one right here you guys are going to want to break five and then this middle one and then for this one you guys are going to want to break the three down here and then one more up there now you guys are going to want to grab any workbench of your choice but i recommend using a fletching table and then place them in the holes like this this should require 20 of them and guys the reason we use fletching tables is because these are the cheapest ones to make and they are the most effective ones as well now this is a time where you guys are going to want to bring in two villagers and breed them up to 20 or you guys can just put in 20 villagers if you guys have them via railway or boat but since i'm creative i'm just going to spawn them in and guys you guys are going to want to have a minimum of 10 villagers but if you guys want this farm to work as fast as it possibly can 20 would be the best and now all that our villagers have linked up you guys are going to want to build a floor right here if you guys want you guys can go ahead and place in a torch right here so no mobs can spawn and once you guys have covered it up you guys are going to want to dig one block out on all directions right here to make it a 7 by 7 area as well now you guys can go ahead and choose any corner and then place two blocks like this. And then you guys are going to want to place a water bucket on each one like this. Then you guys can go ahead and remove these blocks. And as you guys can see, if you guys did it correctly, you should have a one block empty like this. And now you guys are going to want to dig down right here and then these two blocks as well like so. Then once you guys are done, you guys are going to want to place a double chest right here. And then you guys are going to want to place a hopper going into our chest. And now on this block right here, you guys are going to want to place a slab and then a solid block on top. And the reason we are using a slab is so that we can still open our chest. Now you guys are going to want to place in two signs right here and then a temporary block next to our hopper right here and on top of that you guys are going to want to go ahead and then place the fence gate and then open it like so then you can go ahead and break our temporary block then you guys are going to want to place in a sign right here as well now you can go ahead and then place in a lava bucket like so and this will be to kill our iron golem now for the final step you guys are going to want to go ahead and then place in a bunch of oak leaves to spawn proof our area like so and guys, you guys are going to want to cover basically as much as the area as you can with these blocks, as this will prevent our iron golem from spawning there. I recommend you guys cover as much as you can, but for now, this is okay for me. And then to get this farm going, if you guys have seen any iron golem spawning around when you guys are still building your farm, you guys are going to want to go ahead and kill them like this. And once you guys have spawn proofed as much area as you can, you should see that iron golems will only be spawning in our farm. So yeah, guys, that's actually pretty much it. It's a super simple 1.18 compact iron farm. And yeah, if you guys enjoy straightforward content for both Minecraft Bedrock and Java Edition, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, as it does help our channel, and also it does mean a lot to me. So, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys next one. Peace.